Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Green Review. I'm your host, Andrew Smith from Treescape Certified Arborist. Today we're going to be looking at how to keep your trees healthy. We'll be exploring all the different factors that contribute to the overall health of a tree, as well as a number of preventative maintenance issues that we can do to help sustain the longevity of our trees. It only takes a quick look around our property or our neighborhood to see a number of the environmental stressors that have an adverse effect on the overall health of our trees. One of the biggest issues that we contend with on a regular basis is disturbance of the root system and the quality of soil that those roots are growing in. It's important to understand a little bit about the makeup of the root system. 80% of the root system is actually in the top 6 to 10 inches of soil. So anytime we start to disturb that particular amount of soil, we're actually affecting the overall health of the tree. We're on site here again at Mount St. Joseph, and this particular property is, is, is an older property. It has very natural soil conditions here, and the trees will have, will, will have, have, have thrived over time in these conditions. Newer developments in our newer neighborhoods aren't quite as fortunate. A lot of times, to, to make way for these developments, the, the soil is completely stripped away, and only a little bit of topsoil is brought back in to allow for sod and for trees to grow in, sometimes only four or five inches. And that's really not ideal growing conditions for those trees. And in the long term, it doesn't allow them to sustain themselves. In widening this lane to accommodate for larger vehicles, the roadway would have been excavated fairly close to the tree. And in doing that, a good portion of the root system would have been taken away with it. By doing that, you're taking away the tree's ability to intake the oxygen, the water, and the other nutrients it needs to be able to survive. The absence of these nutrients places the tree under tremendous stress, and we start to see the tree inevitably going into a state of decline. We start to see the tree presenting with such things as lots of dead wood, insects, and disease. And we can see this in our own backyard by the landscape features that we put in, such as uh, in putting in decks, whether we put in patios, or, or anything, even paving our laneway. There are a number of things that we can do to, to help the sustainability and the overall health of our trees. The biggest thing is to monitor our trees on a regular basis, to look for things such as damaged, dead, and diseased limbs in the tree, and, and call a professional in to help to, to take care of those, those problems. Other things that we can do is to avoid compaction of our soil. So the next time you go to, to do some kind of a landscape feature in your backyard, take into consideration where your trees are and where those root systems are, are lying and take care not to disturb them as much as possible. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us on The Green Review. Until next week, here's a point to ponder. A tree line buffer between a stream and a farmer's field will help to remove those farming pollutants before they reach the water. See you next week. I'm Andrew Smith. The Green Review is brought to you by Treescape Certified Arborists. We bring trees to life.